trade passed down through generations of woodworkers. But today, with so much mass-produced tableware, handcrafted wooden bowls have become a specialty item. And this centuries-old traditional craft is practically a lost art. Each of these exquisite bowls is made from a solid piece of hardwood, beech, maple, walnut, or cherry. Logs arrive at the bowl mill fresh from the forest, so they're still very damp, and that's an advantage, because the moisture lubricates the cutting tools. The first step is to divide the log into blocks with the chainsaw operator measuring and inspecting as he goes. Defects such as knots or scarring dictate the length of each block. Any cracks or other flaws are marked with a red crayon. Next, a rip saw operator uses different size bowl patterns to determine the best way to cut the block. The goal is to get the biggest bowl size pieces possible without including any defective wood. Each bowl sized piece is called a bowl blank. This block is large enough to yield three blanks, each of which will produce a 17 inch bowl and a series of progressively smaller bowls that nest inside it. The blank is mounted onto a woodworking lathe. From this point on, production is entirely dependent on the lathe operator's skill. As the block spins, he carves out the bowls using a series of specialized knives designed and forged at this very mill. First, he uses this curved knife to shear off the outer portion of wood. It takes great expertise to know exactly how to angle the tool and when to pull it out and release the wood shavings and prevent a jam. After two or three minutes, the exterior bark shell has been sheared off. The bare wood that's left represents the outside of the largest bowl that he'll mill from this blank. With a finer blade, he sculpts the wood to just the right thickness and smooths the surface. Now he switches to a smaller curved knife and cuts into the wood. This forms the inside of the largest bowl and the outside of the next smaller one. The lathe worker repeats the smoothing and cutting process with progressively smaller knives, making bowl after bowl at a rate of about one a minute. This one bowl blank produces four nested bowls, the smallest measuring about nine inches in diameter. The bowls are steamed for about four hours to draw out the sap and hydrate the pores of the wood uniformly. Once a bowl is dry, about a month later, workers even out the top rim on a sanding table. Then, using a belt sander, they smooth the outside and inside surfaces. motorized saw shaves off the bottom of the bowl, giving it a flat base on which to sit and a place to inscribe the company name. Businesses can order custom-made bowls featuring their company logo. Artists burn the design into the wood or paint it on. The bowls now go for a bath in food-safe mineral oil. This nourishes the wood, preventing dryness and cracks. Oiling also brings out the natural beauty of the wood grain. And because all raw wood is unique, no two bowls are ever alike. Up next, high-tech production at a chain.